What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton and today I'm giving you five tips for making better music videos. Tip number one, assuming that you're a beginner, let's start off with the basics. One of the most important things that you should always do before shooting any music video is make sure you're using the proper camera settings. It doesn't matter if you're shooting in 720p, 1080p, 4K, 6K, the list goes on. Always make sure your camera is properly set up for the shoot. A general rule of thumb that I like to follow, and it can be broken, just keep it in mind as a, as a guideline, is if you're shooting your performance shots, you always wanna shoot them in 24 frames per second with a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second or 1 48th. If your camera offers that, that's gonna make sure the motion blur and everything looks natural and like your eye sees it. And if you're shooting your slow motion shots, you wanna make sure you're shooting at 60 frames per second or higher, the higher the frame rate, the smoother and slower you can make your slow motion. So to recap, performances should be shot in 24 frames per second and all of your B-roll slash storyline footage should be shot in 60 frames or higher if your camera offers that feature. Tip number two, properly plan your video. Pre-production is everything in video production. Sometimes I find myself lacking in that area when I should be doing a lot more. It's always good to try to get to your locations before the shoot, try to figure out how you want to light everything, what props are going to be used. You don't want to ever get on set and not know what's going on because you'll look like a total noob. Tip number three, make sure you're shooting plenty of footage. This is a big one. I don't know how many times I receive footage from different directors or whatnot wanting me to edit their footage and they simply just don't have enough to work with. It makes my job hard. It makes me have to spend 10 times longer on it trying to figure out how I'm gonna fill up all the gaps. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And shoot with intention. Don't just go shooting whatever. Just make sure you get plenty of coverage. If you're shooting performances, make sure you get your wide shot, your medium shot, your close up, and then get some creative angles. Get creative with it. Just make sure that you're always shooting plenty of footage. Tip number four. Now that you have finally finished filming your video, it's time to get to editing. When editing your video, always keep in mind that the worst thing you can do is just cut and, and add edits at random places. You always wanna edit to the music, to the beat, to the song, and just make it flow to the music as best as you possibly can. I don't know how many edits people have sent me that just don't even make sense. It's like, why did you cut here? What are you doing? It's just stuff's going crazy when it's a smooth song and when it's a, when it's a fast song, stuff's going super slow. Just you wanna make sure you follow the energy of the music you're cutting to and always cut to the music. And last but not least, Tip number five, color grading is the icing on the cake of your video. It's the creamy goodness that you just wanna lick off and forget about all the bread. You can take amazing footage, color it completely wrong, and it looks like trash. Work on your color grading skills or go buy some LUTs. They're super cheap. Whatever you have to do, just make sure the color on your video always looks super nice because that's what's really gonna set the tone and the mood and just make your video have that super professional look that you're after. With these five tips, you should be on your way to making better music videos. So as always, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share the video with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.